Good day, good day! How the fuck are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right. Guess what we got today? We got a one up Wednesday. And, uh, yeah, this is, uh, once again, uh, we're getting down there. We got just quite a few, uh, left, but, uh, this is from Jerome again. Uh, thanks a lot there, mister. Yeah, we're still working on stuff for you. And, uh, yeah, matter of fact, one has to do with this. Huh? Yeah, but, but anyway, uh, what do we got today? We have got something today, uh, that is, uh, obviously it looks like it's from a different country. Yeah, because, uh. He's over Belgium. Ba Bam! There we go. We have a Welly Wonder Kids and uh, vehicle collection 164th. E. This is a 160th um, scale classic cars. I like I like these people that they got drawn up. Uh, kids, kids, people. I don't know. Yeah, look at all of them. That's crazy, man. That's it's crazy cool. I like that. So anyway, so we're talking about a welly here, and we have ourselves an Evoke, a Land Rover Range Rover Evoke. Now, if that's not a mouthful, I don't know what is. Very beautiful. Uh, you know, I'd like to take it out of the package, but you know what? This is the only welly that I've got in this scale is... Uh, these little, uh, I think I might have two of these. I think I might have two of these, but yeah, um, the old Freelander uh, Welly, I've found a couple of these. So um, I've got some bigger uh, Welly stuff. This is missing a wheel on the back, uh, and uh, some of the wheels are kind of crazy here. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, so I don't really have um, any, uh, really any Wellies in the in the small form what i usually have and find is uh, the 143rd um and i probably should have grabbed one huh a 143rd scale uh pullback they they're pretty popular around here for that but otherwise this is what we have one uh 60th collection uh what is that fine wheeling free wheeling excuse me I can read, really I can, even through the lens of the camera. <laughs> but uh, there's the legal jargon of uh, who all is uh, able to go into these packages, and Land Rover is way down here on the end. Toyota brings up the rear. Uh, I think this is recyclable stuff that it says. Now this is, I'm gonna say that this is probably in, I wanna say that that's French. I'm not sure, I didn't, take, I didn't think it was that important to take a picture of it. But uh, you can see that uh, this number 5202B is the casting, or the, uh, I don't know, casting number? I don't know, card number? But uh, made in, in uh, China, Land Rover, Range Rover, Evoke, that's what it says. And uh, what's it say on the top? Welly, something there, I can't quite make that one out underneath the welly but yeah anyway does that help that doesn't help at all i don't know anyway yeah so uh this is what we got beautiful model i love the evoke this is great this is grand it's got the uh, headlights painted that's uh with the range rover on the front hood the grill and the under balance is a different color and uh but just a nice i i think this is just an enamel white this is not uh pearlized or anything like that it's got the big old floating roof on top and then i always like the way the, the wedge look there of the evoke the four door is not as uh pronounced as this one uh the uh, two door but uh yeah very nice now these are uh two-piece wheels those are rubber wheels on there that is pretty awesome and i believe it's going to be a one rivet construction because here's the tab for the back one so i don't know if that's a screw or a rivet because it's under that there tag but uh very very nice 
plastic so plastic base not bad on um the detailing there i really kind of think they uh hit a home run on what part we could see but uh very very nice so then on the back there they've got the range rover as well on the back with the evoke on the left and the uh, R land rover badge on the right with red painted tail lights and those are like lipstick red yeah those are like kiss me on the lips baby lipstick red <laughs> yeah crazy that is bright so yeah just a really clean cool model it's got the side mirrors on it uh no additional uh painting on the sides i mean the the, the lens do come around a little bit wrap around there on, on the side and they did have enough um uh, whatever details so they got the notch there and usually there's a light isn't there usually a night a light in that notch in the wheel wells for the evokes i i thought there was maybe i maybe i'm mistaken maybe I, maybe i get hit on the head a lot i don't remember a lot of stuff anyway so yeah oh so it's a, a left hooker there uh pretty decent interior uh we can see there well i guess we i wonder if we could uh, kind of i don't know if we could kind of reverse the lighting or whatever so we can maybe if we did it this way yeah there we go yeah oh i suppose that kind of that through the many different shipping is and everything uh we've kind of scuffed the uh top of the window top of the the roof and then also the uh the packaging is scuffed so throughout the many years that this is probably um you know i had i didn't uh find anything uh really on the packaging to tell me exactly um oh my lights kind of flicker in there i never found anything on the packaging to tell me exactly what uh what uh metal die cat what year this was uh they don't have any um uh anything on on the packaging to, to let me know that this was made you know 1990s or in the 2000s or so i'm not really sure what this what this time is there's nothing up there really tells us but other than uh but yeah but uh, i'm i'm pretty sure those i was going to mention that warning not suitable for children under three years old small parts choking hazard i think that's because of the tires yeah otherwise i don't think they would have had to put that on there but those are a two-piece tire and uh, those are rubber tires so that is uh, kind of a quality piece um i know this is the wonder years um line or edition or collection but uh, very, very nicely done. I mean, front and rear de decos and, um, you know, the rubber wheels, uh, you know, it's it's pretty, pretty darn too nice. But it does have a back seat in there. You can kind of see the headrest there a little bit on the back seat. But, uh, but yeah, really kind of cool. It's kind of hard to see through the packaging. And I'm sorry, I'm just kind of weird. But it does have a center console there. And, uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, now it's going to focus. Nice center console. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. So there you go. I'm going to get out of here. We're going to cut it short for one of Wednesday, but thanks for joining me. Yeah, this is the only other welly that I think I've got. I'd have to check my playlist. Go on over and check the playlist. But uh, thanks a lot for uh, that, Jerome. And uh, yeah, I, what is wrong with this kid here? Why is she... Oh, she's, she's doing a handstand, and, and that's her hands down there, and that's her legs up there, and she's, oh, I'm like, what kind of, what kind, has she got like a Halloween costume on or whatever? And this guy here, he's winking just outside the card, but anyway, all right, I got, <laughs> got distracted with the kids. All right, well, there you go, one up Wednesday with a uh, Land Rover, Range Rover Evoke. Um, I don't know if it's a dynamic or a standard or what, but uh, very, very nice. What is that, 2013, 2015 model in a 160th scale by our friends from Welly. All right, that's it for me today, folks. Thank you for joining me on a one-on Wednesday. 
And remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great